Hello everybody, this is Detecting Dad from Boston, Massachusetts, and as you can see, we have another roll of nickels. Uh, I haven't been able to get any videos out lately. Uh, I had a, we'll call it a hiccup in employment. Uh, my company made a mistake and I was unemployed temporarily for about a week and a half, almost two weeks. So it definitely caused some uh, issues, but uh, back on track now, working, everything is going good. Want to get this video out, hopefully today or tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to get some metal detecting videos up as well. Uh, but right now, I'm going to open these up, sort them, uh, see what we have in there. If they're any dated, with or without mint marks, so on and so forth, sort them out, see what we have, and I'll let you know. Be right back. Okay, everybody, so I've gone through this roll here. As you can see, it's all spread out. This one here has a mint mark. It's an S mint mark. I'll show you that real quickly. Right there. But the date is going to have to be naked dated. Shouldn't take much. Uh, this one here, both sides are going to have to be done. On these ones here, it's going to be just the date side. Kind of the same with that, but I figured where it had a mint mark, I'd kind of put it to the side. On these eight right here, we actually have legible dates, which is great. This one here is in 1927, in Philadelphia. There's eight of them here, so this is number two. That is an S mint mark, 1928, San Francisco. All right, let's see here. This one here is 19, and this one here is a 25. I'm pretty sure that is a five, because if you look at how flat that is right there, I don't see any curve into it. So I believe that is a 25. I might nick it, I'm not sure, but it's Philadelphia for now. And this one here is a 1923 Philadelphia. Next one up, we have a 1934 Philadelphia. Three to go. 1923 Philadelphia. Got a 29. See, if you look on the other one, how this is curved, and on the other one it was not, and that's why I believe that is a 25. And that's a 29 Philadelphia. And right here is a 1928 Philadelphia. So those eight right there, I do not have to nicodate. I'm going to go ahead and start with these ones in my work all the way backwards. I'm going to set up uh, probably about 10 of those. I'll be right back. Oh, okay, but he kind of jumped ahead, and as you can see, these have already been nicodated. Um, take a look at the, this one right here. We have our first one up. That is clearly a 1914, and we already know these are all Philadelphias. Next one up here is a going to be a tough one, but I can see right here a 7 and a 1. I would definitely say 1917 on that one. Number 3. Yikes, I don't think we did anything on that one. We've got one no date so far. I'll get to work and get myself a tripod again. And there we go, a very nice 1916. Followed by a, another 1917. 1915, I do like finding the teens. 30 is a nice once in a while too, you don't see them too often. And that is a 1923. Right there, so that's good. We got three to go. Next one up. Ooh, okay, there it is. 1915. Again, second to last of this batch. Another 1916. Last one for this one. And let's see if we can get that date. It's in 1923. I can clearly see that three. The two is just giving me a little bit of problems. It is literally right there is a two, and then you got the three over there. Sorry, I'm terrible with uh, pointing these things out. You got the three right here, and then the two coming down like that. Well, there we go. I'll be back with the next batch. Okay, it's going to be the final 12 for the ones that we know are Philadelphia's. I'm going to nicodate these, rinse them off, and reveal the dates in just a moment. Be right back. Okay, everybody, all of these are done, and let's see what we have. We'll start up here. Move on over, and the first one up, 1916, followed by a 1917. That is awesome. Those two came out really good. That is a 1921, and of course, I know there's no 
mint mark, but I'm still going to look anyway. And we have a second 1916. Second row, let's take a look. And 1936. Let's see. Pretty sure. Nope. No three legged buffalo there. I think that was the D anyway. I'll have to look in the book on that. Another 1916. Whoops. Halfway there. And this one here, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. Of course, I've already looked at all these. This is in 1913. You can just barely see the three right there. I look at it on the loop, I can see it. So we got the lighting just right here. It's kind of hard to see, but um, of course, on the back, there is no mint mark. So, And um, if you look at the back, that is a Type 2, 1913 Philadelphia. Another 1916, very popular date. And this one here is, I hope you can make it out, it's 1923. You have the two right there, and then the three right there. And again, no mint mark. 23S would have been nice to have had. Three to go. This one here is another 1920. Getting a lot more later dates, which I like. I haven't seen a lot of those in doing all these. Another 1929 Philadelphia. And last one for this group here is a 1915. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, I'm going to clean this batch up, set those ones there out, and that'll be it for this video. Quick and short, be right back. Okay, everybody, here's the last batch. This one here was the one that has a San Francisco mint mark. We're just uncertain on the date. The rest of these other nine right here, I have to do both sides. So I'm going to do the dates on all these first, tell you what this one is, and then I'm going to finish up with the final eight on seeing if there are any mint marks. Hopefully there are. I've had actually very little luck with finding it, but you never know. Be right back. Okay, buddy, all of these have been uh, nicknamed on the obverse. This one here, as we know, did only needed the obverse. The other ones I still had to do the mint marks on. So what do we got here? And that right there is a 1919. Let me see if I can turn that a bit so you guys can see that. Nice nine right there. And it's a 1919 San Francisco. G4 condition, this thing is a $9 coin uh, like this here. You're talking two bucks maybe. Which is fine. I'm going to pop that right over there. Flip all these over. I'm going to see if we have any mint marks. And I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Go ahead and nick dated both sides of these here. And as you can see, they got the verse uh, up. And on the reverse, no mint marks whatsoever. So I'm just going to show you the dates and wrap this up. Okay, here we go. First one up is a 1913 Philadelphia. And that one there, I want to say, is 1920, possibly. Let me take a close look on the loop at that. Okay, yes, it is 1920. You can see right here, you see the 2 and then the 0. I can see it on the loop better than I can with this. A few more to go. Here we go. That is a 1913. And I did look at the back of this. That is a Type 2. 1914. 1920 again two 20s that's good i like seeing 20s another 1916 seems like i get it like five or six of those every batch this is a 1918 1913 again followed by last one and I believe I thought I saw a 13 on this. I'm not actually sure. Let me look under the loop again. Be right back. Okay, so there it is. Um, I believe it's either a 13 or a possible 15. I can't tell. So basically it's undated. So there we go. Those are all the coins from this um, unveil on the Buffalo Nickel Hunt. Was a lot of fun for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. And until next time, happy hunting.